Hi everybody, this is Susie and welcome to a Vintage Design Studio. I hope everybody's enjoying the long holiday weekend this weekend. Um, I uh, wanted to make this project today and I worked on it mostly all day um, because I have a luncheon meeting with a very dear old friend of mine that I haven't seen in about four years. Um, he is actually um, a, a business colleague and um, I'm very excited to give this to him and um, he's a really special person I know him for quite a long time and haven't seen him in a while so I thought that I would make him something very special he is the kind of person who's into opera and uh, Beethoven and loves to travel and uh, loves to go see shows and things of that nature so I thought that I would make him a cigar box now this cigar box is not wooden it's the uh, cardboard kind of cigar box I'm just gonna take this from my tripod for a second and show you uh, what I had done here okay uh, first I had sanded down the whole box and um, I painted the bottom and the inside of the box black. Then I roughed up the black and I used my finger with some gold paint on that. And I'll show you that in a moment and just to explain to you that these papers are from Tim Holtz and I just, these, this is one of my favorite pages that's inside that uh, paper. And um, it's, it's movie tickets or theater tickets and it's just a whole bunch of different old-fashioned tickets um, that are mixed up as you can see here. Um, I just love this. And with that said, I, I wanted this to look masculine, but I, I again wanted to add some uh, beautiful little pieces of artwork. And what you see here is also the, um, the Tim Holtz um, film strip. I uh, cut that out in black and then twisted it from one end to the next to kind of look like a twisted movie strip because these are tickets with the admit one uh, stamp there like a ticket that's um, with some rough edges and this is for a man so I, um, I have some buttons from Wild Orchid Crafts some of these beautiful trellis flowers that I had gotten in my new design team kit and these other beautiful cream colored roses I just adore those and these small two-tone yellow roses so adorable there's a little tiny piece of seam binding stuck in there. My flowers are wrapped in burlap. And this is a Tim Holtz glass bottle. And um, I'm saying that this is some fairy dust in there. It's actually just some glitter. And if you have a problem gluing this down to your project, ladies, what I did was I wrapped some um, twine around it. And then just before the hot glue was about to dry, stick it to the glass so the glass doesn't break. And it worked. Um, again, I have a brown button here from Wild Walker Crafts. I just love these little buttons that they're carrying now. I have an old-fashioned key there that's quite old. Um, this flower right here is one that I made with the uh, leaves as well out of mulberry paper. Uh, these are also stars from Wild Orchid Crafts. And because he is a five-star man, I decided to put five stars on that movie strip. And now I'd like to show you the inside. Now you guys know that I don't do the mini books and things like that. But I did want to make something that he would get some use out of by using this box. Oh, and just to let you know, you see this here? This is a button. And this is also from Wild Orca Crafts. And I thought it was really cool that I had gotten that idea to use it as the open enclosure. I, what I did was I drilled a hole with one of my husband's tools right into the box. And then I used the longer... Um, brads from uh, Tim Holtz collection and I just put it in so now it's much easier to open rather than trying to dig your fingers in between and open it. So after I opened it what I did was I put a little rose right there because after a play or after you know some kind of uh, show of some kind somebody always gets a red rose. And then in here, um, I had these papers, oops, <laughs> I'm really sorry guys, I had these papers left over from a previous project that I had done last week, and I thought it was a great opportunity, opportunity for me to use them again, 
and um, the, this, this paper was from Michael's. I don't know the name, but I had used it on the, uh, the cube that I did the other day uh, that was a styrofoam cube. I'm sure I may have mentioned the name throughout that video. And I used my binded wall here with 200 4 by 6 pieces um, of um, index paper, which is a great idea for those of you who like making binded all books. If you use the index uh, papers, it's awesome because it's kind of like a journal, and this really is not very mini. So, and I didn't want it to be too small. This is for a grown man, a very, very professional person, um, and I'm sure that he's going to really love um, writing in here. And what I did was is. I punched two holes, one in the front and one in the back, and I used those Making Memories, um, kind of like a, a copper color um, eyelet in front and back, and then I put some jump rings through there from Tim Holtz, and one of Tim Holtz's keychains, and also one of these little Tim Holtz charms that says Cherish, and then I used uh, Tim Holtz papers, I had some uh, left over from a previous project that I had done um, and it was some music signs and he's always going to see plays and things like that so I uh, made one of these little charms using the uh, the Tim Holtz uh, uh, clear fragments there and I just have it hanging on that keychain I thought that was so cute like that and you know he can just uh, maybe he can save all of his tickets when he goes to see shows and and whatever so and it lies very nicely in the box there and there's still some finger room for like a pen and up on top over here so it looks kind of nice and you see how like I, I roughed up the edges because again it's got to look old you know me and I just love the way the top of it came out and I'm just going to quickly share with you the bottom oh and also this came out really nice this is also Tim Holtz grunge paper um, it's one of those packs that comes in like 96 packs um, this one is the one with the skeleton the hearts um, let me see if I can get that quickly um, I don't know what I did with it I'm sorry, but if you need to know, let me know, and I'll know, let you know what it is. Um, I just, what I did was I put some uh, walnut stain on there, and I sprayed it with chocolate-covered cherries, and then I just blotted it and let it dry and put it on with some um, glossy accents, and it stuck very well. And just, let me see if I can go back on there. Yeah. Okay, and just to show you the bottom, that was painted black, and I just went over with um, a brush, you know, really fast, and put some gold there, and I, I painted the legs gold, these really big, um, like, button-type, um, button-type uh, wooden balls, or wooden, they're flat on one side, so they're really cool for using using them as legs on a gift or a box, sorry. Um, I was actually going to use the Tim Holtz foundations on this, but I kind of thought that that was just a little too much. <laughs> Don't forget this is going to a man. So anyway, I hope that you really like it, and if you would like to check out some of the new products from Wild Orca Crafts, you can go to wildorchacrafts.com, and there you're going to see all these beautiful little new buttons, and their trellis roses, and some of these pretty little charms that you can find there um, and many more of the new items that they're selling so um, I hope that you like my cigar box I'm excited about it too bad I'm not keeping this one every time I make something really cool that I love it's for somebody else <laughs> it's time for make something to Susan right okay so I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye